Next question is from Neal SM. What isolation exercises had the biggest impact on your physiques? I love this question because mm. I could think of an exercise for almost every muscle group. Really? Time. Yeah, absolutely. So shoulders, um, the cable reverse fly. Uh, I've demoed it on the YouTube channel. So uh, not like your standard standing up where, it, where you bend over and I actually pull the cable through. Uh, that blew my rear delts up. That was a, a great uh, isolation exercise. Uh, my triceps, I remember when I introduced uh, dumbbell skull crushers, never had done those before, and that those blew uh, my triceps up. Um, chest, I know this is a compound, um, but going to incline and introducing that was uh, one of the biggest things I ever did for my chest. Sissy squats for my quads. Like, that was a huge game yeah. changer. Um, I don't know if I have something specific for my hamstrings that I remember as an isolation exercise because there's not, there's not, there's only so much of that. Can you um, consider, would you consider a Romanian deadlift because it's a single joint exercise isolation, right? Because technically you're not, yeah, I guess you could, uh, right? Yeah. Although it's hip. So that's kind of yeah, a big joint. I mean, it's lots of muscles involved. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely targeting. Yeah. I noticed the hamstrings. huge impact from, I can, two exercises in particular that really did a big difference on me uh, dumbbell pullovers. Mm -hmm. I really saw a difference on my back from doing that exercise. And that's technically an isolation movement. And then laterals for my shoulders. Yeah. I, I, I was going to say that. For it my really shoulders. rounded me out. You too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really rounded out my shoulders uh, to do those. So, yeah, and it, you know, uh, isolation exercise. I know we talk about compound lifts all the time, but you know, they're they also have value. They they're good to add volume. They help you isolate, obviously, uh, certain muscles, and they're not all created equal. And I and uh, with isolation exercise, it's really important. It's important. Technique's always important, but isolation exercises are exceptionally important that you feel the target muscle. Right. Otherwise, you kind of waste the whole reason why you do them in the first place, like laterals, like what I'm talking about, right? I'm doing regular laterals, not even the rear ones. People in the gym often turn it into like this weird shrug row kind of movement. Waste of time. You yeah. get like, you develop your upper back. You almost it. see like a hip hinging kind of uh, yes. ex an extension there to, to be able to get it up. But yeah, I was going to mention that in terms of like, like providing that kind of definition and cap of the shoulder, like that really helped to develop my shoulders further. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, again, you guys probably have a lot more experience with the isolation exercises, but uh, like for me, just anytime I do any kind of bicep exercise, <laughs> it just, it, it blows them up. Like, I just don't do it. So I mean, for me, it's like preacher curls. I'm like, Oh wow. Look at, look at what just happened there. Well, I just discovered crazy. the second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the important, silly. I think point to know is that it's, uh, more often than not, it's, it's you introducing a, a new movement more than it is like, Oh, because mind pump said dumbbell skull crushers or laterals yeah. or whatever that it's like if you do laterals all the time and then you go try and think that's going to blow them up for you it may not do anything for you because you've been doing that for so long yeah. and doing something unique and different could be and then upright rows may blow your side delts mm -hmm. up more than anything ever has before because you never do that yeah. so right. but yeah I, I mean i think i think the formula is an ice a great ex isolation exercise is an exercise that you can feel that target muscle you could keep it uh, under tension for a good portion of the movement, and then you could load it. Mm -hmm. If you can load, if you can get, if you can control it and really feel it in that area, you can load it really well. That's kind of the recipe, I think. For and then it being novel, you know, that's kind of like the trifecta: novel, be able to feel it really well, load it good, yeah. and it's probably going to develop. One more, uh, and I remember specifically adding this because it was after I watched pumping iron at the age of 16. I think that was the first time I watched it, 15 or 16. Uh, the, the concentration curl that I learned as a kid was the one where you sit on the bench and your arm is inside your elbow. Remember that yeah. version? Yeah. Then I watched pumping iron, and Arnold does this bent over concentration curl yeah. version. Yeah. And I tr tried it, and it was, until this day, it's one exercise that'll give me a bicep pump like nothing else. Oh, and I don't know really? if it's because I'm hanging my arm low and the blood's flowing to it or whatever. Yeah. But it's to, like for a pump, it's like incredible. I've Otherwise. never liked that. It's funny. Really? It's, yeah. I've never. I mean, I still did them and and they were in the routine, but it wasn't. It was nothing like a preacher. I mean, preacher curls, spider curls actually did that for me. Like that was a big one. And see, they're was, similar to spider curls, just in are. the angle. But I think yeah. you have to like pull your elbow out, and there's all kinds of technique. With well, it. I put a lot of focus on my chest, and it's a very basic. Exercise exercise but like when i'm doing a cable fly oh, yeah. i really like it when um you know i'm alternating it so i'm keeping one 
you know, I isometrically contracted while the other's going exercise. full range of motion. Like it's so simple, but I feel the shit out of that. I love chest. that exercise. That's a staple chest movement for me for sure. Just because we talk about the benefits of isometrics, and there's just not a lot of exercises that you do for the chest that you maintain a, a squeeze. Yeah, 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 where there's a good isometric portion of it. So it's a great way to incorporate isometric training into your in your routine, and it feels amazing to like finish a chest day off with an exercise right. like that.